Welcome back to the shop. Today I thought I'm going to pick up on Stefan Gotteswinter's uh, Weiss challenge. Ah, not really a challenge, just uh, evaluating different Weisses here. And um, I know uh, BC Block did one, uh, I think it was an 8 inch, so it's more like an A-bomb size. Uh, and Holzmichel did a, I think it was a 6 inch, 150 millimeter Eastern German Weiss. This is a four inch, 100 millimeter Atwood English make. It's about 30 years old, I think, probably even older, I don't know. And uh, I did pretty much the same setup or similar setup. The difference is I'm using a torque wrench and I just figured out what I normally would apply and this is about 60 newton meters or 45 foot pounds. Uh, what I would normally apply with a normal handle and uh, so if we clamp that down we are almost on zero now hopefully that's visible on the, on the uh, video we're getting about make that 80 thousandths of a millimeter that's a thousand indicator and that's about 0.03 three hundreds so that's 80 hundreds lift and three hundreds deflection to the rear look how repeatable it is just do it again with the same torque yeah it snaps a little bit when the torque wrench comes in but yeah i think it's Make it 700 lift. The gips are tight. It's a dovetail design. The gips are pretty tight. It's not oiled at the moment. And uh, I tried it a couple of times, and it's quite uh, repeatable. So it's between five and seven hundreds, fifty to seven seventy thousandths of a millimeter, um, which is surprisingly high. Uh, because the dovetails look really good So I've got a bigger one. It's a six inch 150 millimeter um, I just need to set it up to the table here somehow One other thing I want to try is actually how much the base Lifts off because the device is bending now It sits it sits flush on the table But I think it's still lifting a little bit. So let's let's figure that out what what that does any that's interesting it's the indicator yeah the device itself does not lift up because it's bolted down so that's fine uh, yeah, i'm gonna set up the other one and uh, we'll see where we are so that's the other one it's a no name vice it's 150 millimeters or six inches uh, it's the same style it's got dovetail uh, very very big jaw here so it's I'm surprised how much it moves. I recently acquired that um, for little money. I think it is at least 20, 30 years old as well. It sees some views or someone did some really deep cuts into it. But uh, it's actually moving more than the other one. I am I'm applying the same torque, um, 60 newton meters, 45 foot pounds, and you can see. This thing is, it's a little bit more, I would say three and a half hundred of a millimeter. It's a bit less here. That's just 50,500 of a millimeter. Let's see how repeatable that is. Go 
and zero here. That's yeah. Make that four forty thousandths, four hundredths of a millimeter. And if I push it further, that was the socket. I didn't adjust the gips here uh, because I, I don't use that vise very often. I only use it for horizontal milling because it's a bit too big. Yeah. I think it's consistent around about 400 of a millimeter, 0.04 millimeters. And on here, I would say it's about the same perhaps a little bit more than the small one which is surprising but the reason might be it's it's got some overhang it's the same problem as Stefan got because his vice is hanging off the table because my table is only 8 inches 200 millimeter deep so the vice is hanging over almost 4 inch 100 millimeters and that gives the vice a lot more opportunity to tilt down I think if it's flush on a table it might be better. I think it's not too bad for a vice which was really cheap and uh, it's probably about 30 years old or maybe I don't know. No idea. I could not find any marks, any maker's name on it. Uh, but it's certainly English made because the the square is some imperial size. So that was my 5P to the Vice Challenge. I have another one, which is this one here. A lovely one. Oh, that's visible. I'm not going to test this, but this came on my shaper. And uh, it's an interesting style. But I think it's it's a bit weak, so I'm not going to test that. But it looks nice. It's a neat vice if you do small work. But you can you can feel it's 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 more like a throttle press vice. It's not a milling vice. But uh, yeah, I have it and I use it sometimes. But it was it was completely unusable on the shaper. It was flexing everywhere. So that's what I have to say on vice deflection. Um, again, it's not a challenge. I, I'd like to see other vices and uh, what they do, especially something like that if it's new. We've seen uh, BC Blocks monster vice which didn't move at all, but uh, I think this thing is just so super heavy. Uh, what we could do is actually check the tilt as well. How much it actually tilts here? Let's snap that up. So. That's about 400 at the top of this one, two, three block, which corresponds to the flex in the fixed jaw. Surprisingly low, because considering the the movable jaw comes up, this doesn't really move a lot. Okay. Well, that's it from devices. Let's carry on with the grinder.